Thank you, everybody, for coming. It's a pleasure to uh, be here today at the Legislative Office Building. Uh, as the spokesman for Citizens for Sensible Legislation, a volunteer coalition of residents committed to educating the people of New Hampshire about candidates, legislation, and issues that affect individual and economic liberties, I'd like to welcome you again to our press conference today about the pending LLC tax and the definition of uh, compensation reasonable compensation. Limited liability companies already pay business enterprise taxes on payroll and interest like other businesses in the state, but with this new LLC tax, such company owners will have to pay taxes on net profits. According to the way LLCs are organized, company profits are really just an accounting term for the owner's personal income. The state uh, has also assumed a power to define reasonable compensation which will literally seize the money that business owners have rightfully earned to pay their mortgages and feed their families. Working families of New Hampshire know that raising taxes in the midst of a struggling economy justifies common sense. If these new taxes are allowed to stand, it will lead to more job losses, fewer business opportunities, and less innovation. The idea of creating new taxes during tough economic times is so irresponsible that there's clearly another motive behind the spend-then-tax policies of the current legislature. If history is any lesson to us, it is clear that power-hungry liberals will not stop with taxes on LLCs that effectively dictate the income that business owners can make. The Democrats ruining New Hampshire are trying to get citizens used to the idea of new and increased taxes. They are intentionally spending more than the state can afford. This will set up an opportunity for them to use spin and deception to rally support for an income tax for everyone. Clearly a sales tax would be part of that package. With more spending will come more taxes, which will naturally make government bigger. How much of the new tax revenue will pay for the useless government waste? while the legislature's spending problem remains unaddressed. And as constituents are burdened with more taxes, politicians will continue to lobby for one special interest group or another. The tax law will be used in this capacity to overregulate the private affairs of businesses and individuals. It's time for spend, then tax progressive Democrats in Concord to follow the example of working families and small business owners who are sitting around their kitchen tables trying to make ends meet. It's time to bring responsible, efficient government back to Concord, which, like any family or business in the state, spends only what it can afford. Thank you very much. I'd like to uh, introduce Jim Forsyth, who's a candidate for uh, State Senate in District 4. Thank you, Andrew. Thanks for having me. Um, the LLC tax is certainly a huge issue for New Hampshire because it's going to kill jobs in New Hampshire just at a time when we need to be creating jobs. Small businesses are the heart of New Hampshire's industry to create new jobs. Um, the LLC tax, as people know, was passed without any public hearings at the end of last legislative session. And right now they're working on rules to administer that tax and apply it retroactively into the tax year of 2009. So part of, part of the difficulty in understanding the LLC tax is it applies to the portion that's not compensation. So an LLC tax can take a certain amount as compensation, and that is taxed at the business enterprise tax rate. The rest goes into a distribution, which is taxed at the business profits rate of 8.5%. And then if you now distribute, distribute that, it looks as a dividend and it's an additional 5% tax. So anything that's not part of reasonable compensation gets taxed at a 13.5% rate. So today, just introduced into the session, was House Bill 1607 that deals with reasonable compensation. And this is the part that's really going to make the LLC tax painful. What this, what this does is it says under $50,000, you don't have to apply any proof to what you're claiming is reasonable compensation, and that's for the business. But any amount over $50,000, uh, you have to prove, and the burden of proof is on the um, business to prove that that is uh, reasonable compensation. So for example, in my business, I own an LLC, and I do unstructured grid calculations of computational fluid dynamics using detached study simulation of full area. Now, how is the DRA possibly going to decide what's reasonable compensation for something like that? The reasonable compensation is, comes from how much my customers are willing to pay me, just as in any business. So the burden of proof should be on the DRA, not on the citizens of New Hampshire. There's also some serious constitutional issues with the, the bill as proposed. Uh, in particular, they say that if you, if you sell a, a portion of your business and, and take that as income, you can deduct an amount of that uh, not to exceed a certain percentage, and that percentage is then going to be made in the rules by DRA. So it's not going to be done by the legislature. It's going to be done by the Department of Revenue and Administration. 
but only the legislator has the legislature by the Constitution has the ability to set tax rates. So this is un unconstitutional. In short, uh, the efforts of six, House Bill 1607 need to be killed and the LLC tax repealed, and I vow to do that if elected. Thank you. Thanks very much, uh, Jim. Appreciate your comments. Um, we're, for closing remarks, I'm going to introduce our chairman, John Slatery, of uh, Citizens for Sensible Legislation. Good morning, and uh, thank you for your time this morning. Uh, there are other people that have said uh, everything a little more eloquently than I probably can, small business owners and uh, people of the state of New Hampshire, so uh, I'll keep this brief. Uh, it's, there are many uh, small businesses in, in New Hampshire that are the engine of growth of our economy. Uh, this is a state of entrepreneurs and individuals who are blazing new trails in business. What bureaucrat can determine the reasonable compensation for someone who's in a new industry, someone who's breaking new ground? We need to support these hardworking people, not punish them by confiscating a significant part of their income each year. In times like these, small business owners need to be able to make their own decisions about their businesses. Our small business owners need freedom from the overreaching hand of government, not a de facto income tax. Thank you for your time.